That is a picture of a brain. And today, I want to talk about how your brain, and this is kind of my theory. Um, it's just my own little theory. And basically, the brain learns everything you put in front of it. So I made another video about this. Um, I made a video about this before where um, where I talked about this, but I, I didn't spend... It was that Bob Ross video that I made. But uh, I wanted to spend a little more time talking about this because I thought maybe people would want to know more. And the idea is that our mind... Uh, this is my theory. My theory is that our mind... Everything that you put in front of you is equal. So, for example, if you play a video game, or and then you go to work, and then you spend all day reading, I don't know, um, like you're reading the advertisements or something, right? So your brain, in my estimation, in my theory, is that your brain doesn't distinguish between. In fact, when it comes to form, forming memories, your brain will memorize the advertisements just as much, just as if you had been doing, you know, your, your work, obviously, because when you, when you go to work, you have to learn the job, right? You have to learn what you're doing. And then when you do the... Um, but then when you're playing video games, obviously, you're learning things, but video games... I mean, they matter, I guess. Well, for your own happiness, they matter. But they don't really matter in the grand scheme of things, right? Like, they're usually, it's, it's not, it doesn't matter in the real world. How about that? So by that definition, it doesn't matter. So, but the thing is, your brain memorizes everything. And your brain memorizes, uh, what, did, what did I just say? The paper, right? It memorizes advertisements, things that definitely don't matter, Right? But maybe they do to you because they'll, I don't know, they're advertising something that you like. So maybe it does. But the point is, your brain memorizes everything. Now, of course, there are some things, for example, um, I, I guess we all know about how, you know, if you, for example, read a receipt, right? And you don't memorize, you know, you're not going to memorize every single thing usually that happened, right? Like your brain will forget or if you're having conversations or you meet people that, you know, you just see, you know, if you see someone on the street, right, and you're just walking around, unless they really catch your attention, you're not going to memorize them, right? So, so our brain does forget things, but anything that kind of you, you do, even where you're going, your mind is remembering it, and it's all the same in my theory. And so the, the distinction is there are some things that forget that are forgotten, but a lot of the things that do get remembered, right? Like, for example, yesterday I'll remember, oh, I was at this place, right? Or you'll remember what you, you know, you, you'll remember sort of details, right? That just f become part of your memory. But that's something that your brain thinks is important. And it all gets the same. So whether it's a video game, you know, you're going to remember the video game. You're going to remember the things, right? You can remember, oh, I remember what, what I did, the build, the levels, and, and your brain thinks that that's important. It thinks that it's, it's as important as anything else. In other words, everything gets the same level. And then when you read advertisements, right? Like you remember, or even music videos, right? Like you remember the details of a music video. Even though that's not important, right? I mean, relatively speaking, right? Outside of your own entertainment, but it's not important, but still your brain thinks it is. It's like, uh, it has no way of knowing that it's not. And so the fact that you memorize it means that it thinks it's important. And so the reason why I'm saying this is because people just don't realize, you know, they think, um, I believe anyway, that there could be a correlation. There, there could be this idea that you're wasting your time, right? Because you, you could have learned something that was... Um, I, I guess more useful, perhaps you could think, or you could have learned something that matter or that matters to you more. But because you didn't put it in front of you, you didn't learn it. 
And so that's kind of what I'm trying to get at here. And, and sometimes you might not be cognizant. Sometimes you think, so for example, your mind gets better at whatever you do. So if, if all you like to do is sit down and watch TV, and this is kind of the analogy I've given, if you just sit down and watch TV, your brain thinks that that's important. So it'll prioritize that. And it'll, it'll actually make you better at doing that. But of course, it's not really, you know, maybe that's not something you want to, but because you're doing it, your brain thinks that it's important. And so your brain, um, you know, your, your brain will prioritize that and you'll become whatever you do. So you are what you do and you are what you think too. So what you put in front of you is exactly what your brain is going to adapt to. So if you sit around a lot, your brain will adapt to that. And it's not necessarily better or worse, to be honest with you, because I'm not trying to make a judgment on what you do, right? Like maybe that's the kind of existence you want to have. Maybe you just want to be a TV, you know, person, right? You, you want to be someone that, that just, you know, if, I mean, if that's what, um, I, it's not really about, I, I don't really want to, I don't think it matters. I'm not here to say what is important and what is not. But I, what I will say is, what do you, um, that the brain prioritizes whatever you put in front of it. So whatever you put in front of it is what it will learn. And so that's why it becomes doubly important, or I should say even more than doubly, like very, very important that you kind of select and at least be somewhat aware that everything takes up your time, that everything takes up your 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 mental everything takes up mental space so to speak and that's my theory anyway so my theory is that everything takes up energy so therefore just be aware of that be aware that there is mental energy that and and so think of it as like a you know like a fraction like you you can only spend so much time on each stuff so how are you going to decide but people just don't realize that even not doing anything or even, um, you know, even things that you wouldn't think have an effect on you do. I guess that's kind of the theory that I'm trying to push is this idea that I think that your brain, whether it's doing something very complex or it's doing something very simple, whether it's doing, whether it's you creating and inventing something new or whether it's you, you know, just obsessively memorizing one line of one, you know, TV show or, you know, whether it's you just listening to a song over and over again, no matter how complex and wide or how narrow and simple something might be, your brain will treat both the same is, is kind of my theory. And the idea that your mind is going to think about things, it's going to Think about things the same way. And so, so what I'm saying is, the, the reason why this matters is because, you know, when we talk about the brain, um, the, the brain is something that I believe, or I think anyway, that as you put, if you want to, like, that, that I guess everything is just the same. And, and why shouldn't our universe, you know, why should our universe act favor one thing over another, perhaps? And so, you know, it just gets me to think that if, if I have an idea, let's say, you know, uh, that it's all kind of, that in life you kind of have to just do what, what you like to do you know, and prioritize what you want to prioritize. And what people just don't realize, and my theory is that people just don't realize that if you, the, the reason why you sometimes feel, do you know how you want to do something and you find like you can't find the time to do it, you know, and it feels like, it feels like you're trying to do something, but but you just can't do it. And the reason why is because you're, you know, you can't, it's hard to start a new habit is what I mean, right? And the reason why you might think, well, why? You know what I mean? It's not like I'm doing anything, but actually you are, you know, you're, 
going to the bathroom, you're walking around, you are commuting, you are, every single action that you do, you're watching TV, every, that is getting in the way of your, of whatever you're thinking about. And of course, in your mind, you might, obviously you have to do certain things, right? You have to commute to work, you have to shower, you have to, there are certain things you have to do, so you can't really not do them. So that means your brain becomes good at, you know, after however many years you've lived, you know, after all those years showering, you're going to be good at showering, right? Like your muscles are prepared, you're mentally, you know, you're used to that. And so your your brain kind of is actually trying to help you because it wants you to kind of um, build up, you know, to, to get good at what you're trying to, whatever you, you do all the time. But if you're trying to do something new, that's where the challenge comes in. Because most people, they seem to think, well, learning, well, that means that I need to improve my learning, right? This idea that, you know, I'm only learning when you're learning math or when you're learning a subject that is at school. But actually, you're learning all the time. And all the time, your brain is, is, is working, so to speak. Um, um, and so I, I find that even if it's something simple or complex, if you realize that, I feel like it will help you um, understand why sometimes, for example, you might not feel like learning, right? Like you, you do something and you feel like, well, I, I don't want to do this. Or, or you don't feel like, you know, doing your homework, let's say. You don't feel like doing your college work. And you're thinking... Um, and, and the reason why I think is because our mind thinks that all the other things that you're doing is getting in the way, like it's getting in the way. And I actually believe if you are studying and you're seriously trying to memorize, learn things, I, I guess a, a way to use what I'm saying is to say that to stop, you know, stop watching TV for a little so Don't do anything except that because those things are, are getting in the way. Right. I mean, if I'm trying to learn something. Right. And this is one one of the reasons why, you know, my most productive years when I was younger was when I didn't play any video games back then. And that and that was my most productive year ever where I learned the most. And so sometimes in life, if you want to learn the most, you have to cut out the distractions. You have to cut that out because your brain thinks that that's important. It's getting in the way. It's, it'll be easier for you to learn. I mean, if, I guess following my theory, it'll be easier for you to learn things if you don't think about anything else and just do that. Because once you understand, the reason why, so let me explain why I'm telling you this. Why, why am I saying, hey, everything, your brain thinks everything is important? Because, because once you understand that, you'll real, that's why you'll say, you know what, I'm just going to get out of bed, learn or do whatever it is that you want to get good at, and then that's it. And you know, it, it's similar to you know how Michael Phelps, the swimmer. Um, let's let's look that up. Michael Phelps, all right, the swimmer. Like he talked about how um, Michael Phelps talks about how how he just. Wakes up, I, I read an interview, I can't remember, I wish I could find it, but Michael Phelps, he, he reads about how, he's like, oh yeah, I just wake up, eat, or whatever, and then just swim, and swims all day, and then, and then goes to bed, and that's a perfect kind of representation of what I'm talking about, that the mind, right, because in this case, Michael Phelps, that's just what he does, that's the only thing, because that's what's important, to him, right? To Phelps. And, and that kind of goes with what I'm trying to say right now, that if you want to, by understanding that your brain memorizes everything that it does, if you really want to get good at something or you want to start a business or you want to do, you need to completely consume yourself in it and not do anything else. At least for the time that you are learning. Obviously, you're not going to do that forever unless you want to. But, you know, most of us, we, we need to have some balance, right? But I'm saying when sometimes the rubber meets the road, you need to just do, or, um, well, I don't know the expression I'm trying to say. Like, sometimes you need to just get things done. And so when that happens, 
take things away. And that's going to help you with whatever you put in front of you, which in a case of Michael Phelps is swimming. So you can be kind of an expert. You can be the best version of what you want to be. You can completely focus and learn what you want if that's all you focus on. Um, and so that and sleep, because sleep is what kind of helps you. So you need sleep too. That's another thing I guess you could add on to this. But really, um, yeah, so it's, you, 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 you do, you don't even have to learn. You can just do it. By doing it, your brain will prioritize whatever you do. And especially imagine if you just swam, if you just do one thing in one day. Well, wow, your brain will just do that. Your brain will know exactly. It'll optimize every single thing, every single, the energy. It'll, it will the, set up neurons and you will be that much more, you will be that much more effective and your mind will know this is what you want to do because this is what you're doing right now. That's why it's so important that to, when you understand this principle to just start doing and going in a direction that you want to go and that your mind will make it easier each time and make it a habit so that that becomes a part of your identity. This is what I do every day. This is what I... And be careful because a lot of the things that, um, you know, a lot of the things that, you know, are in our universe, you know, are a waste of time for you, right? Maybe not for someone else, but that's why we all like and don't like different things, right? Like I don't, you know, and so that's why we can't do it all. And so do what you like. But in this case, if you're starting a business or you're starting or uh, you're, you're studying, right? You're, you're trying to improve your life. You're going to college. You're trying to, whatever it is, do what you're doing and just do that for the time being. And your mind will become consumed in it and you will become a master at that. And, and your mind will be able to prioritize that. So um, that's the... Yeah, so um, so for now, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, if you have, yeah, go ahead and um, comment. If you, um, if you have any ideas, what do you think, um, what do you think about this? And um, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you all.